I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on inequalities. We will begin with some very simple concepts which are going to help us solve complex questions based on inequalities. So here is a very interesting result. We need to understand what happens when we square both sides of inequality. So the question is, is A square less than B square if A is less than B? Now, take your time, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Is A square less than B square if A is less than B? So in this case, what are we given? We are given that A is less than B, right? So we have to check what happens when we square both sides, right? So let's take an example. So since A is less than B, I could take A as equal to, let's say, 3, and I could take B as equal to 5, correct? So in that case, what is A squared? A squared is 3 squared, which is 9, right? So A squared is 9, and B squared will be 5 squared. So B squared is 25. So from here, it is very clear that b squared is greater. So we can say that a squared is less than b squared. Perfect. So this is expected. Right. So most of you have got this part for sure. Now let's take another example. Uh, that is to say, let me reverse the situations and this time let me take a as let's say minus 5 and b as equal to minus 3. Now in this case if I square then a square will be minus 5 square and b square will be minus 3 square. Now see when I write a is minus 5 and b is minus 3 we know that minus 5 is less than minus 3 right? It is on the left side of our number line. Perfect. Now when I do that, what do I get? I get minus 5 squared as 25 and b squared as 9. So, so what we conclude here is we started with this, but however, when you square, we get 25, which we know is greater than 9. So in this case, what really happens is that a squared becomes greater than b squared. Do you see that? So it might have come as a surprise to some of you. So if both are negative, then the things are reversed. Do you see that part? Okay. Now let's take cases when one is positive but the other one is negative. Uh, in that case, let me take this value of a as, uh, let us say we take a as minus 2 and we take b as 3. Now clearly we know that minus 2 is less than 3. That is a positive number, this is a negative number. Now in this case if I square I get minus 2 square which is equal to 4 and if I square b I get 3 square, which is 9. Well, we know 4 is less than 9. So, so what we conclude in this particular case is that a square is less than b square, right? Now, let me take other value, more negative value. That is to say, if I take a as minus 5 and if I take b as equal to let's say 2, in that case what is a square? a square will be minus 5 square and b square is going to be, I mean 2 square, let me write first, right? So, so a square is 25 and b square 
is 4. Now clearly you can see that 25 is greater than 4 and therefore in this case a square is greater than b square. So if I have one negative let me rewrite this as uh, conditions what we are trying to do here. So what we did was that we took both positive here in that case we get that a square is less than b square perfect so if we take both negative what happens we get that it kind of reverses right so simple to understand but what happens if one if a is negative because a is smaller than b so if only a is negative so in that case we are not sure what we get here in this particular case is two different conditions a square could be less than b square or a square could be greater than b square so we are not sure do you see that now let me also share one more example and let me ask this can a square equal to b square now that is very important to understand can a square be equal to b square well the answer is yes when when if i take a as minus one and b as equals to one in that case a square equals to b square and both are equal to one do you get that part so we may also get a situation where both are equal right so so we get a situation that a square equals to b square so what do you conclude from this particular video is a very very important aspect that is when you square both sides of an inequality then any of these things are possible if you are sure that we are working with only positive numbers or only negative numbers you could predict the result but if one of the numbers is negative then you cannot predict the result so whenever you solve inequalities squaring both sides means caution so that is what i want to highlight with this particular video we'll take up in this series what happens when we do other operations both sides like reciprocal on both sides negative multiplying by a negative number on both sides and so on so these basic concepts will really help you to understand how to solve inequalities efficiently i hope that makes sense feel free to write your comments and share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that will be great thanks for watching and all the best